Hey guys, we are here at Epcot for this is now the final night of the Epcot International Festival of the Arts for the 2024 season. I was here on opening day and now it just felt appropriate to come over for closing day. So we're actually coming in here a little bit later in the evening. It's right around 6.15 when we are heading in here. So me and my friend today, we were actually over at Animal Kingdom and we filmed a video over there which I'm gonna wait and release that later. I'm gonna put this one out first. But yeah, we were at Animal Kingdom and we were like, you know, this is the final night of Festival of the Arts. We should just go over there just for the evening and say goodbye to it. Have one last Festival of the Arts for 2024 until next year. It is my favorite festival. Uh, that being said, I am excited for Flower and Garden this year. Specifically, they look like they have a lot of really new and exciting menu items, so I am excited for the next thing to come. So yeah, I am excited for what is to come, but Festival of the Arts is still always gonna be my number one, so we have to come and have a couple more food items. We're gonna see the show tonight, the Broadway show. They do something special for the last night, so that was the other big reason we wanted to come over. Leave me a comment below if you made it out this year to Festival of the Arts. What was like your favorite thing of the year? Was it the Beef Wellington? <laughs> That's something we were laughing because we had a bad experience with the Beef Wellington, but we might try to try it again tonight. See if on the last night of the festival, if it got better somehow, we'll see. But I think my favorite this year, I'm trying to think what was my favorite this year. Oh my gosh, off the top of my head, I, I shouldn't have put myself on the spot. I don't know. Well, I think the only thing the only I had was the Beef Wellington. Oh, you really didn't have a good yeah. festival this year. Pretty sure I only had the Beef Wellington. So uh, let's try it again and see if it's better this time. Because last time it was not my favorite, but we'll see. We'll see. And yeah, Kyle's here tonight. We just filmed over at Animal Kingdom. That's going to be a fun video project. But yeah, we're coming in for Festival of the Arts day. I don't know what day this would have been. The on last day. The, the last day. I'm excited I, for the concert. I'm very excited for the concert. So the concert, they do something special on the very last night of the festival where typically throughout the course of the festival, they always do, it's always a couple up there. Like they always have two people, two performers. What they do is they usually have them in town for like two weeks at a time and they'll alternate with like another pair. And so like it's one night, it's like the first set of people, the next night it's the next set of people. But on the final night, they actually will have four performers all at once on stage and I have never all my times of coming to the festival I've yet to ever come to the festival on the final night to get to see the performance that they do with all four performers so that is a big reason that we were like yeah let's let's get over there and try to see it the thing I'm excited about is we're gonna get to see a bit of a preview for flower and garden too because they are already starting to put up the topiaries and here's our first ones Woody and Bo Peep are over here. Also, that's new. That's beautiful. There's a flower display. Look at these guys. Hi, babies. Can I go snack? Disney popcorn is really good. Look at these topiaries. I feel like every year they change something up. Like, look, her dress this year is more made out of succulents, it looks like. And the sheep have never had that type of palm leaf before. So cute. I love this. This is exciting. Coming this time of year, you get like two festivals in one. This is new this year. These flower pots. It's very pretty. It's just random and I love it. It's very fun. Ready for all of this to open. That'll be the next thing. This is what's about the flowers. The carpeting is all in now on this side. They're ready for the festival. Out with the one, in with the next one. Did you guys see the red thing yesterday? With the monorail in the background? Yeah, this is the best picture spot. So pretty. We're gonna go get food. I think we're gonna try the Beef Wellington again. That's the plan. Okay, so change of plans from Cuisine Classy. So that was the one that you can get the Beef Wellington. Um, we talked to the customer. She was very nice and told us that it is tiny tonight, the Beef Wellington, because um, we said we were debating. Oh, thank you. Look at that. You got the, the action shot here. So what I decided to do was to get the mussels because I love mussels. I love mussels. I hadn't had them yet this year. So here, here they are. Yes. You get it. I feel like this you get your money's worth. This was eight bucks or eight fifty. Yeah, this is a like lot more like food that you get. Yes, you get a good amount. Okay. And this is actually cheaper too. It's like I fifty cents love cheaper. This thing. And look, they give you the crostinis. And yeah, I'm a big muscle fan. I can't believe I haven't done this. Like I haven't had this yet this year. What's funny is I think it was 2022, the year I first moved here. I had this probably like maybe 
seven times, but probably not that many, but I had it a lot. Like I would just come over to the festival just like by myself all the around and I would always stop and get this. This was like my go-to. So yeah, I can't believe I hadn't had it this year. I don't even know if I had it last year either. Take a bite. Yeah, got some of the component there. Really good. Oh, this is kind of spicy. It's on top. But the mussels itself, there you go. I've always heard though if they're closed you shouldn't try to force them open that something's wrong with them. Really? And it's not healthy for you to eat. Oh. I have a disappointing update. So only like the first one was good and honestly all of the rest of these have been so tiny and it's been so I don't think they've been cooked properly like steamed properly or maybe it's just like the type like the supply that they had is just not good quality but it's been hard to like get them out of the shell like usually they should just like slide right out and like they are not and some of the um, mussels are not fully opened and I remember actually hearing before that Somebody told me this years ago that if they, like when you're getting oysters, or not oysters, when you're getting mussels and they're all steamed, you don't want to eat the ones that aren't open, that those are bad. Um, so I've always like known that and known to like avoid that. And I've never had this issue before at a festival, but there's like four whole mussels that are like fried shut. Like you can't open them. Open two of them and there's nothing even in them. There's nothing even in the ones that, yeah, were closed. It's just, they're so like, the meat is not, this is not worth it. Yeah. And I used to be better in years past, like I didn't like the spicy component. It was very spicy too, yeah. like kind of hot. And yeah, this just, it was such a good one. Like once again, we've now had two fails from Cuisine Classique. Two fails. Disappointing. Let's clean up our mess of shells. Beef Wellington was a flop. Yeah. This was a flop. 2025? Come on Cuisine Classique, I'm counting on I'm not you. even Let's a harsh critic. It. Get it back up here. I'm not even a harsh critic, it but just this is not hard. good. This it is really bad. bad. Yeah. Let it be known, last night of the festival, they had a full supply still of the figment popcorn buckets. <laughs> you can still get them. I resisted. It is super cute. I'm hoping it comes to the outlet. You know? It's a good sign. They still got them last night of the festival. It's so cute the fact it lights up too. Like, it is adorable. It would look cute on a display somewhere. We just stopped off for a margarita in Mexico. Now we're in Norway, and look, they have these snowflake topiaries, and Anna and Elsa are up here already. This really is two festivals in one. Anna and Elsa. So cool. They look pretty similar to last year. Maybe Anna's like dress looks a bit more blue. And her hair a bit more red. The next Epcot Festival is starting on February 28th. And if you are looking to plan a vacation down to Walt Disney World or anywhere that you want to travel to, go ahead and reach out to my sponsor on the channel, 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. Their agents would be happy to help you plan all the details so you just get to relax and enjoy your vacation. Next up, China. And I think we're actually, we've given up on festival food for the night just solely because we want to, you know, be able to, we want to fill up on like a bigger meal somewhere. And then we know we want to go try to see the concert. So that's now our game plan. So we're going to go here to the quick service in China. But I also, so my parents came over here the one day last week when I was working and they had so much fun. They did like a couple of the festival things and they told me that they took some vlog clips. I haven't even seen this footage yet, but I'm going to edit it into this video. So I, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and insert that right now. This is a good time to show you that. So my parents tried a couple more festival things and I think they also kind of had their fill at some point because then I know they ended up getting fish and chips. I don't know if they showed that or not, but they told me they then got fish and chips to end the night in England. So enjoy the clips, the takeover clips from my parents, and then we will meet you back here in China. Here comes John. Got our first tasting of the Canada food. So let's see what we got. Here it is. The roasted beets with goat cheese and candy pecans, I think. And what was yours? The wild mushroom risotto. Wild mushroom risotto. Okay. I think that's Shaq over there. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a try. Alright, so he's gonna try that. Mm. You've been really? looking forward to that one. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Smells good. Very good. All right, so far so good. And then I got this, and I'm going to try this. And the um, this one was a part of the challenge where you get the stamps and get the uh, special completer treat at the end. So we have one more to go before we complete. 
What are you having? I'm having the roasted beets. They got two different types. I really like these yellow ones. They're really good. The goat cheese is good. These are some pickled sort of pickled mushroom. mushrooms. This is a petite lettuce. These though, these are very good, but at the end, boy, there's some sort of spicy. Pecan. Pecan, but they're delicious. I like it. Thumbs up. <laughs> so do you pronounce it pecan or pecan? I say pecan. Okay, so here we are, and we got another one that counts towards the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. And this will be our last stamp, and we can get the completer uh, treat. So this one is, what does it say? Blueberry filled pastry tart with blueberry icing. Looks like a pop tart. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Pretty good. Pretty good? Does it taste like a pop tart? Best pop tart ever, yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. so what did you think of it? I liked it. It was good. It was a, an elevated pop tart, which I like pop tarts. <laughs> so. It was delicious, and now we can get our, it says if you go over and visit the Deco Delights, which is near the Port of Entry, you get whatever the treat is for this festival, which I actually am not sure what it is. It's usually a dull whip, but I, I don't know for sure, so we'll find out. Behind the scenes walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal be Arthur. with the plants <laughs> and growing techniques in our laboratory. It's the end of the festival for us. Um, yeah, we Pass it actually ends today. on the 19th, but we can't come in on that Monday because we're blocked out because it's President's Day. So here we are. We made it to the completer treat, and I'm not sure what it is. It is a a slushy type looking drink, and you get a uh, painter's palette sugar cookie. So we're going to give this a try and see what it's like. What flavor do you think it is? Uh, beet flavor. They didn't tell me at the at the booth. They were kind of busy. I think it's raspberry. Raspberry? Yeah, I think okay. so. Is it good? Very good. Alright. Welcome back. And here is our food. We're making our way up to the American Gardens Theater to go see the show. Also, Happily Ever After over at Magic Kingdom just started because we can see the fireworks. It's really cool actually. You can see them right there. <laughs> you can actually see Magic Kingdom fireworks from here inside Epcot. <laughs> this is really cool. They're actually in costume, too. songs, especially as it held a deep meaning to the late lyricists. But as Alan Minkin tells it, the song came home in a score of a new hit Broadway production. Howard and his mother would be proud. Proud of your boy, I'll make you proud of your boy. I've wasted me. Don't say I'm slow for my age and I agree. Okay, excuse me, Miss Vanity 
Gonzalez, thank you very much. Oh, I mean, oh. Prince Ali is the genie song. I know, and no one's trying to steal your lamb, but it's always been my wish to have a female genie. Down in the audience. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's awesome. Oh my gosh, the camera. Hi. Oh, it's so great. Oh my great. Let me see them. Hey, Jim, are you ready over there? of this incredible birthday celebration and for helping us close out the 2024 Epcot International Festival of the Arts Disney on Broadway season. But, but, we are not gonna let you go out without granting you one more wish. They're packing up the paintings for Festival Arts the last night. We just got out of the show. That was incredible. Yeah, I love that. Michael James Scott, he is always just like one of the best ones that they have. He just comes out and like, what he does, the genie number, steals the show every time. I love, that was the first time I've ever gotten to see all four up there at once. I've really been wanting to like come over here. They always do that to round out the festival the very last night. In the last two years, I have missed that. So finally, here we go. I was able to make it happen and see that. That was just so cool. And they even were doing different things with like the set. They had different set design pieces that were happening like on the projection screen they would make it look like um, the marketplace or like whatever song they were singing and they kind of like went with some of the theming from that part of the show it was very very cool how they did it um, yeah I love that I you see that's why one of the components of why I love this festival the most I love the Disney on Broadway so yeah until next year until 2025 we're gonna have to wait <laughs> maybe we'll go to New York and see an actual Disney on Broadway maybe that can happen that'd be fun Hey guys, so that is going to do it for my last trip to the Festival of the Arts for 2024. I'm so happy that I got to get back over and seeing that Broadway show was so incredible. And even though our food item that we had was a flop, it still, you know, was just fun to get to experience another festival item to kind of round out going to the festival and I'm already looking forward to next year. This is my favorite festival. That being said, I am excited for Flower and Garden this year. Um, the topiaries that they have look stunning, so I'm like extra excited. Yeah, but with that, make today magical and I will see you in the next video. Bye!